After a run of three away games in a row, Ilkeston found themselves back at the new manor ground and hoping to build on their second half performance away at Darlington last Tuesday. Michael Williams returned from a one-match suspension after his sending off at Stamford and David Jones and Max Thornbury found themselves promoted from the academy side and onto Andy Watson's bench for today's game. The first real chance of the game fell to Ilkeston. Curtis Burrows did well to chase the ball down on the right hand side. He got a cross over but Lewis Rhodes couldn't keep the ball down and the shot went high over the crossbar. Working to wouldn't fare much better with their first real chance of the game. A speculative shot hit from outside of the area going well wide of Jamie Hannis's goal. Some dogged work in midfield by Dexter Atkinson saw him find, send the ball out wide to Michael Williams but his resulting shot was always curling wide of the working post. Luke Shaw would then give away a free kick, but the resulting free kick came to nothing as Ilkson's defence held well and cleared the ball easily. Another chance here for Workington, but a tame cross saw Jamie Hannes gather the ball easily. Atkinson would then find himself in space just inside the penalty area but his shot like Michael Williams a few minutes earlier was just going wide of the Workington post. Workington then had a good chance to take the lead themselves but fortunately for Ilkeston Scott Allison couldn't quite get on the end of this header. Workington would then take the lead in controversial style. A long throw here evaded everybody and the ball seemed to have crossed the line before Anthony Wright headed the ball in but the referee disagreed and gave the goal. Another Workington throw from the same area saw Ilkeston in trouble again, but this time Jamie Hannis coming out off, just off his line and punching the ball out for a corner. The resulting corner was cleared once by Aidan Print, fired straight back into the danger area again, but Aidan Print with his second chance to clear, cleared it as far as the halfway line. Michael Williams then found himself on, on his own in the middle of the park running at the Workington goal, a good shot from just outside the area but just wide of the post again. The second half would see one change to Andy Watson's side, with 18-year-old Bermuda and David Jones coming on for Daniel Udo and making his league debut for Ilkeston. He was soon in action for Ilkeston, a clever one too here with Aidan Prince or a cross coming into Michael Williams, but Michael Williams' shot was well blocked by the Workington defence. Workington were then fortunate not to find themselves reduced to 10 men when after this challenge by Joshua Calvert on David Jones the referee brandished a yellow card rather than a red. Workington would then double their lead after Ryan Head brought down Joseph McGee on the edge of the penalty area and giving away a direct free kick. Jamie Hannis managed to get a hand to the ball but couldn't stop it from going into the back of the net for Workington to double their lead. And just six minutes later, Workington found themselves with a 3-0 lead. Scott Allenson found himself on his own in the six-yard area and it was a simple side foot past Jamie Hannis into the back of the net to put the visitors 3-0 ahead. Ilkeston weren't going to go down without a fight though. Michael Williams here with a chance but his shot going high over the crossbar. After some good work by Dexter Atkinson, Curtis Burrows found himself with Ilkeston's best chance of the game. A simple lob over the keeper, but this summed up Ilkeston's day with the ball coming back off the inside of the post and being cleared for a throw-in. A Lewis Rose cross then found the head of Michael Williams, but he couldn't keep it on target and hit it just wide of the post. David Jones then found himself in space on the right-hand side. An inch-perfect pass from Luke Shaw to his feet. He cut back inside and hit a hard and low powerful shot, but the keeper just scrambling and got his hands to it. Ilkeston had one chance left in this game. Another cross from Luke Shaw found the head of Curtis Burrows, but his head had just looped over the crossbar and onto the netting above the goal. The defeat sees Ilkeston now drop to 14th in the Evo Stick Northern Premier League. They have a break from league action this week with an Integro Dudes and League Cup tie away to Kidsgrove Athletic on Wednesday the 16th of March.
They will then be at home to Hales Owen on Saturday the 19th.